Half Wheels coverage of the 2023 PCA Convention and Trade Show is brought to you by Drew Estate. Hi, I'm Keith Archiquette with Lovely Cigars, one-third of the ownership of Lovely Cigars. Lovely Cigars is a cigar company out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Now that sentence, none of those words audibly make sense, and they should not be back-to-back -to -back together. So if I have nothing else other than that story is, we are a cigar company out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Go Pack Go. What We started a cigar company in 20, 2020. We were in COVID, a group of friends of us, we said, we want to start a cigar. And that, again, sounds like a ridiculous pipe dream in Green Bay, Wisconsin. But when we, when we came up with why we were going to start a cigar company, why not, but the what we wanted to do with a cigar company. Uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin, and most people don't know this. Uh, you, you, you say the Green Bay Packers, sure, we are a Packer city. We are a dairy city. Everyone knows us for cheese. You dial all that history back, though. The Packers show up in Green Bay in about 1921, right? We became the dairy state in the 1900s. But we're going to go further back. Green Bay, by nature, is a port city. We do have a bay, and it is green. That bay connects to Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan connects to all the other Great Lakes. The Great Lakes connect to the Atlantic Ocean, and so forth. So... By saying Green Bay was a port city, sailors would come in in the 1800s, they would dock at the port of Green Bay, and they would get off the ship and get their essentials. This is the 1800s, so you're talking salt, you're talking soaps, liquors, and tobacco. On any given day in the port of Green Bay, there was 100 to 400 different cigar blends or retailers rolling cigars, selling them to sailors. Now, shipping turned out to be what it is. You know, we, we don't, that, that's not the vast way in how we, we deliver goods any longer. The Great Depression hit, you can, cut that, you can cut those retailers in half. Then the Cuban embargo hit and they all but became extinct. But Green Bay, before we were a Packer city, before we were a cheese city, before we were a paper city, and people don't know that either, that Green Bay is one of the largest exporters of paper in the world. If you look at your toilet paper, paper towel wrappers, you may not know the company name Georgia Pacific, but you do know their logo. So we are a, comp we are a city that is built blue collar. But before all of those things, we were actually a city that was built on the shoulders of tobacconists. And so when we started Lovely Cigars, we said, we know this story. Our city knows this story, but we have this feeling that not many other people outside of the Green Bay area know this story. So our entire idea was, Let's resurrect old brands that were sold in the 18 and 1900s in the port of Green Bay, and let's resurrect them. And that's what we do with all of our offerings, all of our, all of our, all of our blends. Is it's, a, it's a love letter to the city of Green Bay. It's a story about Green Bay and its past. And I, I, give it a shot. Give it a shot. I, we're a young company, but we are moving forward, and we love experiences. We love bringing people together with the experience of the cigar. Half Wheels coverage of the 2023 PCA Convention and Trade Show is brought to you by Drew Estate.